The story of sugar is bittersweet. The discovery of the wonder that is cane sugar sweetness when the hard, rugged exterior is peeled to reveal the interior which, when chewed, oozes a more than delicious juice. The sugar cane plant was brought from northern India to the West Indies by Dutch colonials. A crop of sugar cane gave those that grew it such wealth that pretty soon everyone started growing it. Many people left England to set up sugar plantations to reap the considerable financial benefits. It became such an economic bonanza that a whole banking and finance system was set up to facilitate it. As the money rolled in, many of those that sugar made wealthy invested in land and property and great country houses were built. Many still stand as testament to that period of history in which the transatlantic slave trade brought enslaved Africans and took them to the West Indies to work on those same plantations. Enterprising workers on the plantation discovered how to make rum by fermenting the molasses, a byproduct of sugar, and when the slave owners learned of this, they took over its production, and from then on, the West Indies has become synonymous with sugar and rum. Sugar spawned a lot of associated industries. The making of new cutlery, the creation of new recipes, new ways of dining. The English enjoyed scones, bread and butter pudding, and Eccles cake tea was popular as a drink. The enslaved in the West Indies enjoyed sweet potato pudding, cornmeal pudding and breadfruit pudding. All of these things having the main product as sugar. Post-war, tourism offered Caribbean islands a potential for economic improvement, as did the migration of Caribbeans to the UK. Leaving the West Indies, they took with them their catering traditions that involved sugar. They brought to the UK sugar cake, spice bun, all of which nowadays can be purchased in supermarkets and corner shops. 